Well, hey there, everybody, and welcome to the Rate the Record podcast, uh, not an episode edition, uh, one bonus episode edition, I guess. Why not? Yay! We have had multiple ones of these, so you don't even have to intro it. No, not really. Uh, you you can see the title of what this is right now, so uh, you're joined by uh, Chris and, she's got water in her mouth? Uh, heavily hydrated Savannah. I was trying to get you while you were like half down your throat with water, so we'd be like struggling to get off to the mic. Yeah, it just starts bleeding out my nose. <laughs> bleeding, Jesus Christ! How sensitive are, are your uh, sinuses? I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. That'll be a Kofi thing, though, for sure. Anyways, yeah, that's us. Uh, again, this is an episode of the podcast because the last episode of season four happened last week. If you happen to see it, that was Nine Inch Nails' Pretty Hate Machine. If you haven't seen that yet, go back and see it. And as a matter of fact, go back and watch all of season four because maybe today might be a kind of a spoiler for things to come uh, for what you could expect in season four at the very least. Because today we're going back and doing what we've done for the last three seasons. We're taking all the number one songs we've ranked all season and ranking them from least favorite number one to favorite number one to from worst to best. I don't even know how to categorize these it's just the 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 lowest number one to the highest number one of the season um i find that all most of the time um my i guess least favorite number one just happens to fall that way the more i listen to the number ones i'm like oh i like this one and then it pushes above so like my my last one i don't hate it it's just i liked the other ones more and i say that a lot i just i don't want anyone to come at me because some of these bands are scary, like Sloan. They'll get you the buggles. They'll find where you live. No, that that's not true because uh, Trevor Horn, I believe his name, he's on tour with Seal right now, and they're playing in Toronto tomorrow night, actually. Oh, really? I At the point of recording this, they're playing in Toronto tomorrow night. I didn't know that. Because I, I saw, I looked on like recent concert thing, and it was like Seal with the buggles. I'm like, what fucking kind of <laughs> tour is that? And then it just turns out Trevor Horn's playing with Seal, yeah. not, not actually the buggles. Yeah, he, uh, he produced that song, but... I guess that kind of goes towards my argument that he knows where we live. He will come find you. Yeah, so we talk one piece of shit. now. Although, by the time this airs next week, the concert oh, will be over be either elsewhere. But maybe he'll, like, call in sick or something. Anyways, uh, we're wasting yeah. time right now. We actually have to get into this. So, again, yes. what we do, every single, all 17 episodes that we've done this year, we've each had a number one song, whether they matched or not. But now we're going to rank them in our own individual list like we do at the end of every episode. Number 17 to number one. What is the best of the best for season four? And I guess that's what we're going to find out now. Uh, we're going to disappear off the screen because I need all the room I can get for 17 numbers on each side of the screen. So, whoosh, we're gone. Graphics have changed, but boom, they're not above our heads. There are names, there are numbers, but there's going to be more names, specifically song names. All the best from season one because, yeah, we need to uh, really let something shine here. Yeah, I keep looking at my list going, is this is this like the last iteration of it? I'm like, don't touch it. You you already started recording. Stop yeah, tr- adjusting it. Trust me, my season two list is still in my head. And as much as I love that Frank Zappa Please. song, I don't think it should have been number one. Yeah, but you I can't. Re- we, we can't redux these lists though. We can redux episodes, but we can't redux lists. Yeah, yeah. I- so. Whatever we say today is in cement, and this is the best of the best. And eventually, when we get to season 10, we have to do the best of number one each season. Oh my God. Just, these number one lists, this, this is how you get really popular. You just keep doing like countdown lists the entire time. And then you end up doing a I love this song episode on your number one because you're like, well, clearly, if it's my number one out of 10 seasons, it has to. Yeah, be. after 10 seasons, and the reason they hate me by daughters is your favorite song for some reason, you have to do one. <laughs> exactly. Clearly, you love it. I'm, I'm just trying to do callbacks now so I can put more cards up in the corner, at least for the video, because I'm also putting this on audio too. I put last season on audio, and this season will also be on audio because let's include everyone. Why not? Yeah. Alrighty then. Well, we won't waste your time anymore because there's no podcast to actually talk about, no albums to talk about, just ranking songs. So let's do it from 17 to 1. You know how it works if you've seen the episodes before, so let's do it. So mine number 17, I mean, obviously my favorite band that we did all season, Astro Boy by The Buggles. <laughs> well, uh, would you believe it? The Buggles is higher up my list because number 17 <laughs> is Hacker by Death Grips. Damn, that was a fun song too. Yeah, it's uh wasn't my favorite that is one we matched on too and it's on my list we'll see where it comes in though yeah number 16 passenger side by wilco um no woman no cry by the fugees i forgot they did that one yeah 
That the, was my favorite one, and it was a cover, and I don't even like reggae. So what was I thinking? Yeah, but they totally hip hopped that thing out. So yeah, I think you're actually, good to go. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, coming back to these names that I can't say properly. Number 15, Maria Tambien, or Tambien, from Krungbin. <laughs> Counterpain by the Birthday Massacre. Sad. That was your first request right there. It was. Well, the next one is actually uh, my first request one. So number 14, Shame Shame by Sloan. Emerald, the tea party. The tea party, damn it. I was hoping you That's why I said it. it it knocked down. It knocked down. But I did realize how much I actually really liked this song. So listening to it again, that helped. There is one that I had a little higher, like in the like near the top five, and it, it ended up getting bumped down like four spots. Dang. That's the weird part about making these lists. It's so it's strange. Number 13, The Boston Rag by The Steely Dan. Even though it's not The Steely Dan. <laughs> oh my god, your list makes me so annoyed uh goliath by the mars volta wow that's even more surprising our number one album of the season and of all time up to this point yeah but when you compare them to other songs i like i just like them more so far the pattern is that the albums that i chose are at the bottom of your list and the albums that you chose are at the bottom of my list it's starting to feel that way and it's hurting my feelings these are all subjective it's okay and of course you're gonna like the albums you chose more but apparently you still like mine more but you rate the songs less anyways Fight me on that one. I won't. Uh, here's another one of yours. Number 12, Cowboys by the Fugees. Worried now, Sloan. All right, another request. Not bad. And yeah. Speaking of requests, I got one of those here too. Number 11, The Suburbia Overture by Will Wood. That one got knocked down four spots. Dang. I was enjoying it, but then as I was listening to the other ones, I was like, you know what? I like this one a little more. I like this one a little yeah. more. And as I said in the Will Wood episode, it's something you just got to be in the mood for. That's a hard album to jump into. Yeah. I, um, my number one from that album, I forgot what it sounded like till I was doing it. This is awesome. This like pumps me up. It's all nice. But if you're feeling sad, don't listen to it. It sounds patronizing. Um, my number 11 is the plastic age by the buggles. <laughs> wow. You did put them higher. <laughs> well, the important thing is they didn't make the top 10. They did not. Well, they were knocked down 10 spots. They were number one until like, but they were the first one I listened to. <laughs> All righty then. Now let's get into the top 10. This is where things start to matter for a lot of people. Nothing's going to match. Oh my God. Well, I, do, I don't anticipate matches when we do this. That's just, that's just a, an added bonus. But even the artist or the band is, I'm like, come on, come on. And it's almost never. Uh, we still got a few that we can do that for them. Quite a, yeah. actually the I vast majority. Five. I think there's only like three that we can't match right now. Maybe. Yeah. Four. I don't know. Anyways, yes. let's find out. Number 10, I Feel You by Depeche Mode. Uh, Compromise, Shad. Ooh, that one's a little lower than I anticipated being, but mm -hmm. that's all right. I feel like I need to redox that one because I didn't know that was my number one. I keep listening to uh, The Old Prince Lives at Home. Because that's like the catchiest yeah, song in the fucking I, album. I know. And I'll listen to that going, man, I really should have picked this. That was my number three. Who was in my brain? Come on. Actually, that song, too, it was my number one, and it is coming up on my list. We'll find out where. It's not yeah. this one, though. This, my number nine is Jet by Paul McCartney and Wings. Originally higher, got bumped lower. And my number nine is Depeche Mode with Rush. Oh, Rush and Depeche Mode all in the same pick. Love it. I know. Imagine they got together. That'd be sweet. That'd be a really weird crossover. You would have to do, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. you would have to do, like, I don't know what albums would cross over. Power properly. Windows. Just power windows. I, I, I would the, the big money. That's it. I would think like around Presto era or a little earlier, maybe. Yeah. Power maybe windows. Fire. Yeah, I guess whatever. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with power windows, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That was 85. <laughs> Number eight, Unkind by the Birthday Massacre. I don't know how to say this one. So oh, it's, it's Krungman, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. I actually practice that. Uh Second sight seer to ekin to white to ear. I don't got to white to ear. I remember that. Yeah. I don't know. It's Will Wood. Um, it's the song with the twos in it. <laughs> that, that's the best part. Like the, the way we're calling back some of these episodes is like kind of like an inside joke, and you're only gonna get it if you saw the episode. <laughs> Like, I don't understand. Go watch all the episodes. You have like five more weeks once we're done this video here to go binge the entire season. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's terrible. Speaking of terrible, number seven, terrible live by nine. Uh, 
That one number surprised s- me, but here, I mean, I, as I said, I wasn't super hot and pretty hate machine. Uh, number seven, human nature, Michael Jackson. It's human nature. <laughs> I, that's I, not the version <laughs> I, I know because i i just finished putting together the best of that's coming out next week and that's literally one spoiler alert that's one of the clips you're gonna see is when i start talking about madonna <laughs> because i thought that was pretty good uh, okay number six the old prince still lives at home by shad nice number six terrible eye nine inch nails hell yeah one off right there and let's see another Same match song. for us right there yeah uh well my michael jackson comes in here at number five thriller Number five, Junk Bond Trailer, Elliot Smith. Traitor, you worthless parasite. Is that actually Traitor? Junk Bond Traitor. Hmm. Yeah, you can look it up right now, but I can 100% yep. promise you, you owe me money. Uh, I'm looking it up. Oh, you're right. Well, how dare you, fingers, because it was not autocorrect. It was me not knowing what it said. <laughs> But anyways, what? speaking of Elliot Smith, number four, Stupidity Tries, Elliot Smith. Well, we got a lot of one-offs wow. on this list. It's crazy. Stupidity is trying. Um, Band on the Run, Wings, number four. I'm just I'm looking at the list now, thinking of what you have coming. Okay, so Wilco's pretty high on your list. Krungbin's high on your list. Seely Dan's high on your list. Okay, I see where you are. Well, let's find oh, out what it's happens. It's high on your list. Lists the only three I have to go. Because well, sometimes I'll lose track of which ones have already been said, but I, I can clearly tell. Yeah. But yes, we are now in the top three, the bronze, silver, and gold medals of the season. Let's see what we got here. My number three, my bronze medal is Babylon by the Tea Party. Uh, mine is Box Full of Letters by Wilco. Okay, that's your bronze. Mm-hmm. I, I, for some reason, I thought that was going to be up there, but mm-hmm. I think Krongan is probably going to be at this point. Uh, number two, my silver medal, Hacker by Death Grips. Number two, my old school, Steely Dan. You don't tell me what's number one on my list, even though it's obvious. It was the highest rating you've ever given. So if <laughs> the song wasn't song. if the song wasn't up there, I'd be shocked. It's so good. <laughs> well, then uh, that spoils the gold medal, but for me at the very least, it's Iliana or Iliana or Ina or whatever it's called by the Mars Volta. Evan finds the third room by Krungbin. Is that the one where she's like, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh <my> God, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, so not that it, one. It reminds me of like Stereo Lab, and I like them. So I'm yes. down for that. <laughs> even though I don't, I'm not certain I even know Stereo Lab. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking of that damn song, Yes. <laughs> I love it. I'll just yes. keep interjecting with yes. And it's like, yes. you'll, you'll get the basic gist of the song if I just keep saying yes. He goes, Evan finds a third room. I love it. It's so, I love it. It's so funky. Now, now, did he find the third room? Yes. There you go. That's that's your little tie-in right there. Alrighty then. Go ahead, say something. I, I have nothing to say other than good job. Cool. Good. It looked like you were going to say something more important. Not at all. Never. <laughs> Never. Stupidity's trying. Don't forget truly trying i guess or tried would probably be the better word <laughs> <laughs> tried would be more appropriate because we are now at the end of ranking all of our number one songs for season four it's not a very long episode at all it's not a very long list to get through but here we are we found our gold medals for season four so just that kind of gets adds to the the gold shelf that we have for the last four seasons now i am very after um reading my list i'm very confident in my top five uh, the other 12, who knows, but you know what? It's all said and done, set in stone, can't go back now. So I'm yeah, fine with nothing it. here gets redux. It's all cemented. <laughs> My Franks have a choice, will never change. <laughs> and now Mark <sighs> is up there with that. And I don't even yeah. remember what my other picks are at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they just they live up there in uh, infamy. I so. didn't even go back and check the list like prior to recording this. That's funny. But yeah, uh, so those were our number ones. And so we're kind of curious to know, like, what do you think of our list? If you did watch the the episodes and you've heard these albums and everything like that, do you agree with our list? Disagree? What were your number ones going into this season or coming out of this season? I should say, let us know down in the comments below of wherever you're listening. Cause there's comment sections everywhere. Let us know on social media is at rates worker podcast over on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, because we will listen to you there as well. But all of that and more can be found at rate the record.ca. So, Hey, why don't you go check that out? Cause there's plenty to do over there. Yeah, you can also do one of those things that um, if you disconnect your internet, there's like this dinosaur that comes up. You can jump over stuff. That that's a feature of the website as well. That's incorrect. 
No, it's when Chrome doesn't load anything. So if you type exactly. the address and you're not on the internet, you can play a game. So you're all welcome. If you put in RaidTheRecord.ca in some random extension, you'll get you'll get a very specifically made like 404 page that I <laughs> I I, uh, I was able to create because I didn't know we could do 404 pages until I found an extension to do. It's like okay, I'm gonna make my own. Really yeah. interesting. Cool. It's nothing too special, but I mean, I wrote it myself. Cool, cool. But yeah, do all those things, uh, musical community and such, and be part of it. I mean, I, I'm just not in my full form right now because we're technically out of season right now. But again, if you missed anything this past season or you didn't see anything at all, then go back and watch season four. You got plenty to catch up on, plenty of time to do it, too. So, hey, why not? 17 episodes ain't so bad. Yeah, and we're much better than we were uh, 18 episodes ago. So, yeah, yeah. Will we be any better in season five? Fingers crossed, but I don't have hope. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. I think we're even keel. We peaked, and now we're going to start slowly just sloping downwards. <laughs> People have been saying we've been sloping downwards since episode five, so excellent. Since episode one. <laughs> <laughs> since episode zero, the uh, introduction. <laughs> hey, do you guys want a good reason why, to why you should listen to us? Don't listen to us. We say that every <laughs> single episode. We always question why people are here. Exactly. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, l let you go, but just kind of giving you an update of the schedule coming up for the next little while. So next week is the best of season four. So I kind of hinted that, at that earlier. Uh, so if you want to watch that, it's great. It's just a little under an hour. I thought it was pretty fun to put together, and I like the clips that went in there. I think you will too, so check that out. If you want a quick uh, just wrap-up of the season, but with no scores, because there's like literally none of that. It's just all jokes and stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. Maybe check I'll actually watch this so I can see how hilarious we are. You should watch the best of us at the very least. I know you have a problem with watching yourself, but just yeah. this is like the funny moments and not just us <laughs> taking ourselves too seriously. So it's perfect. Excellent. Uh, so then in the coming weeks as well, we do have a couple of the I Love the Song videos. It's a, a small series that we started a little while ago, if you're unaware of. And there's no real agenda to that one. Like it come out when it comes out. So and mm -hmm. we had got but we do have two coming out. So make sure you keep your eyes out for that. And I won't say which episode, but I am officially reduxing an episode coming oh. up too. I'll probably do that in time off as well. Uh, and that will change the standing of the album on our album rating screen or I'll ring chart, whatever you want to call it at this point so that'll be exciting uh yeah. it might not be by much it might be by a lot you're going to, have to find out so yeah that's pretty cool and savannah's probably going to do one at some point but it doesn't have to be soon <laughs> yeah uh there's there have been a couple that uh, i feel slightly guilty about my mistreatment for so one of them fix was the season up. wing yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll fix that one. I'll fix that one. Yeah, no problem, I guess. And other than that, all I can say is make sure that you come back here for June 26. I know last week I said it was like early July, but June 26 is the official comeback date for season five. We are starting with an album anniversary that day. I believe that's turning 35 years old. Yes. Oh my goodness. If I'm thinking correctly, it's a 35 year old album. Ew, Hello, 1988. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, I know, right? You were you were born the same year as this album. I was. Yeah. Can't say too much about it, but I did say last week that it's not a rock or metal related album, so you can keep that in mind and try to guess what that is moving forward. Country. Yeah, I would pick a country album. Absolutely, <laughs> I would. Even though I didn't technically pick it because it's just a monumental yeah. album. There's no such thing as a monumental country album. <laughs> Ever. Alan Jackson. Never. I don't know. If you don't stop this episode, I'm just going to keep yelling out country guys' names. That's fine because I'm wrapping it up right now. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed season four. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think down below. I want to see your, uh, your rankings and everything like that. So, until we see you in season five on June 26th, go listen to some awesome music, like literally anything on our number one list here or whatever yeah. you want. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. We'll see you in season five. So, take care, friends. Goodbye. <laughs>